probably already heard of the new Photoshop AI generative fill. Well, today we are on a mission. We are going to challenge this new Photoshop tool and see if it can help us transform our boring mockups and product images into something better. To do so, I'm going to collaborate with a fictional brand I've created in my previous video. This is the boutique candle brand Vibes which targets Gen Z with unusual and unique scents. Let's dive right in. So, what exactly is generative fill? The new Photoshop beta version allows you to quickly edit, add, expand and remove objects in your photos using simple text prompts. In a previous video, I've compared Adobe Firefly to Canva AI and Microsoft Designer and you can check it out right here. Since then, Adobe has integrated the generative fill in Photoshop's beta update, so now you can test it out alongside your favorite tools in Photoshop. One thing to remember though is that while in beta version, the images you generate with the generative fill are only for personal and non-commercial use. Now that you're familiar with generative fill, let's dive right in. First, let's open up a mock-up of a candle jar I've created for the company Vibes. Remember, you need to have Photoshop's beta version downloaded from the Creative Cloud. To add an extra layer of creativity, we are going to ask ChatGPT for some intriguing prompts we can use in the text-to-image generator in Photoshop. So, let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT the following. I have a mock-up image of a candle jar with the label I've designed. The brand is called Vibes and it's targeting Gen Z with unique and unusual scents. The blend presented in the mock-up is called Sunset Serenade and includes a mix of blood orange, pink grapefruit and sea salt. I need you to generate exact prompt ideas for the new Photoshop AI generative feel so I can spice up the boring mock-up and present it in a fun and interesting way. Great, ChatGPT gave us more than 20 ideas and I've gathered some of them in a new Milanote board so we can have them all prepared. For our project, we are going to create three versions. The first four prompts are going to be used together as they aim for a more realistic approach. The fifth and sixth prompt are going to be used on their own as they present more abstract concepts. With your mock-up opened up in Adobe's Photoshop beta version, simply select a subject and then you can easily invert the selection by clicking this small button here. Now we have only the background selected and we can start working on it. Our first prompt is as follows. The jar should be sitting on a sand with waves behind it. There should be a beautiful sunset. Let's copy this prompt from Milanode, then click the generative fill button and paste it here. After a bit of loading, Photoshop will give you three options to choose from. And if you don't like any of them, you can always hit the generate button again and get more options. For now, I'm gonna choose this one. I'm not a fan of how the candle's flame looks right now. So I'll just highlight this part and type in flame. Let's see how Photoshop swaps it out for a better looking one. Let's continue with the second prompt. A silhouette of someone playing a guitar in the backdrop of the sunset. Again, I'm just pasting the prompt in Photoshop. Okay, so Photoshop gives us the guitar without anyone playing it. But you know what, I actually kind of like this version with the blurred guitar in the background as it adds a nice depth into our image, so let's just keep it this way. Our third prompt is as follows. Add sea salt crystals scattered around the jar. Let's paste it and see what we'll get. So those are the results that we got. I actually like the salt to be sitting as a pile directly on the sand, so let's slightly adjust our prompt by simply typing in the text box right here. Now we get better results that we can actually work with. Finally, let's select the fourth prompt, which is the following. Create grapefruit and blood oranges floating around the jar. In order to use this prompt, I'm selecting several spots on our mockup and just pasting the prompt. However, I'm not really impressed with the results, so instead let's just place our fruit images strategically by adjusting the selection and the actual prompts. And there we go, these results are more like it. Up next, we are going a bit abstract. Let's clear the canvas and start fresh. Our next prompt is as follows. Create a surrealistic image where blood orange, pink grapefruit and sea salt from celestial bodies in outer space setting. 
I'm just going to select the area behind the candle and drop in our prompt. Wow, the results this time are actually impressive. Remember, you can keep hitting the generate button for more options. They might not all be spot on, but they can definitely kickstart your creativity and imagination, especially if you're feeling a bit stuck. And don't forget, you're the designer here. Feel free to add or remove objects, play around with the lighting and rearrange things until it feels just right. So we went from this to that in just a few seconds. Imagine spending a bit more time on it. Finally, let's clear everything else once again, then select our background and drop in our final prompt. Create an underwater setting for the candle. The candle could be in a bubble, surrounded by sea life or resting on the ocean floor made of grapefruit and blood orange slices. Paste your prompt and feel free to hit the generate button as many times as you want to get a variety of results. While they might not all be perfect, some of them are definitely eye-catching and can inspire some truly creative ideas. Again, this is how we went from this to that. And there you have it. This is how you can add a dash of creativity to your boring mockups in no time, all thanks to ChatGPT and Photoshop's new generative feel. I strongly encourage you to come up with your own prompts and have a little fun with Photoshop's better version. Be sure to drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Remember, while the results are not always picture perfect, they can act as an inspiration for your next project. They can provide you with unique out-of-the-box ideas. This can help you quickly visualize your concept before you proceed to fine-tuning and refining it. Thanks for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you never miss out any future videos. If you're searching for some free design and e-commerce resources, check out my website at albena.design and go to the resources page. You will find a link to the freebies in the description box below. And if you have more free time, check out this video on how to use ChatGPT for logo design. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.